What's up, dude? You want to go outside? Come on. Come on, Frank. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Yep, it's not dark outside. We're doing an evening hunt, boys. On the last video, the last hunt, I warned y'all. We hunted in the morning. We shot close to 30. Now we're going back out for an afternoon hunt, and I do not know what to expect. Uh, we left the spread set up from this morning. The reason why we decided to hunt this afternoon was because this morning it was extremely foggy and a lot of the birds that we scouted the day before that were in the field didn't make it to that field. So we're all like, you know what? There's a good chance that there's gonna be a lot of birds show up that didn't this morning. But it's extremely nice out. It is sitting at 61 degrees. The old pigeons, they're loving life with this nice weather. Aren't you guys? Just loving life they are, let me tell you. The old pigeons, man. They're making a lot of babies right now. We have two sets of eggs on the ground. It's going really well. And we started the trapping videos on top of the roof. I hope you guys are liking those videos. But today, it's nothing insane. We're gonna get in some snow goose hunting while we got it. Hunting season, it's going bye-bye. It feels like spring already. So I really recommend you guys get out there, give it a try. If you see some snow geese, just go try them. You know what I mean? Get out there and enjoy it while it's here. Let's go, Fred, come on, let's go. Like me and Fred, you know us. We're gonna be getting it in as long as we can here. Cause you know, when summer comes, look at this, all these boxes. Mm-hmm. We're moving. Like I've been telling y'all, we're moving. Gonna be busy building a lodge all summer long, y'all. Let's go, Fred, place. Come on, buddy, come on. Good oh, boy. That's a good dog right there. But like I was saying, all summer long, we're gonna be building the lodge. And I hope y'all are ready for those videos. If you guys are pumped for the lodge building videos, please drop a comment down below. Let me know. Because if y'all want to see all them videos, all the updates on building the lodge, I would love to have your guys' help while I do it. Because I want the lodge to be unique. I want the lodge to just be plain awesome. You know what I mean? So I need y'all's help on those videos to help me. Give me your advice. I can guarantee you there's a lot better carpenters out there watching right now than what I am. I'm not the best carpenter in the world, but we're gonna get it done. Well, we are here, and boy, it's feeling warm. Let me tell you what, come on, buddy. I'm feeling mighty warm. But like Preston just said, he, uh, he said, man, I think they're gonna feed tonight because it is a north wind. It's a warm north wind, but it's been a south wind, so. Hopefully the birds notice that north wind and they just turn on and come eat, you know? What's your prediction for the shoot today, this well, evening? We, we gotta get to Bill's 107. Oh yeah, he did. We only got, what, 78 left to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this morning I was like, all right, let's take guesses on what the outcome's gonna be. Bill, he was feeling, he was feeling pretty good at 107. We're, like you said, we're about 78 short. What do you think we're gonna shoot today? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this afternoon goes, but I'm excited for it. I'm saying four. Four, four birds. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. On. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I'm just being realistic, oh, y'all. Jeez, they're going to roast me. <laughs> well, we are here. The birds are up. We're running a little late, but I think we'll make it just in time. About three miles north of us, there are so many snow geese up that, I mean, you see them from three miles. I mean, a ton, absolute ton. So I think we're sitting three to four miles away from the roost. It's a decent little flight, not real far. So they'll be here anytime if they fly this way, if they fly this way. Here we go, first birds, first birds. We'll let them work one more time. Shoot them right there. Oh, they didn't. I thought the one was going down. Why didn't? Oh, yeah, he's down. Look, Burr, dead bird. Bam, Fred's on him. That's a long retrieve. Yeah, first bird down of the afternoon. I was a little weary. I'm like, I don't know if he's going to go down. That's a long retrieve for Fred, though. Hit that thumbs up button for Frederick. Come on now. That's like a, that's a good 200 yarder. Oh yeah, single coming back. Single coming back. There we 
go. There's some wind. Yeah, buddy. Well, we haven't shot for quite a long time. What time is it? 5.30. 5.30. So, uh, during conservation, you can go 30 minutes past sunset, which today might actually make quite a bit of difference. This is uh, the first group of whites that have acted this interested in quite some time. So, the wind's really picking up, and I think it's helping. Come on, slide in here. Oh yeah, get ready. Set. Get ready. Set. Shoot him! Ah! We got the one! Hey, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Oh yeah, coming back, boys. That's gonna be a high shooter. Who can hit the high shooter? Come on now. Come on over, big boy. Come on over here, Fred. Here, good boy. Shoot him, Preston. There we go, yeah. Good deal, got them both. You gotta love it when they come back, you know. Woo! Let's go, that's a little rusty we just shot. Good boy, here. There we go, little Rossi. Come on, Fred, here. 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 Come on, right here, right here. Good boy. Lay down. Lay down. He's putting a bag of ice in there. we go. Little Rossies. In our truck? Both little Rossies. Woo! I was like... Is that not sweet? <laughs> I told you. Oh, dude. That was, that dirty. was sick. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, Spriggs, baby. My goodness. That's hard to tell. Yeah. Is that all white? That's all white. Shoot him. Yeah. Why do we drop three out of it? Nice, boys. Woo! Dude, it's so dark out, you could not tell. So like I said earlier, you can shoot 30 minutes after sunset, and it's so dark that we had to wait and wait to just be able to tell what those birds were. That was awesome. Drop three or four out of it. Good boy, here. Good. Is there another one out there? Good. Dead bird, dead bird. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Man, it is dark out, isn't it? Yeah. It's dark. <laughs> Crazy. Everything but snows is doing it today, boys. Literally everything's doing it but snow geese. 
Let's just take a moment to admire that Kansas sunset. Wow, what a beauty. Yeah, dude, you're a good boy. You're being a good boy, yeah. Look at these two coming back. Everything but snow geese is doing it. Like I said. Well, here we are. We only got about five minutes left to shooting light. Did you shoot anything today? Seven boxes. Six oh, boxes. you didn't shoot any snow geese, but you shot seven boxes. Exactly. Yeah. It's crazy. 30 minutes after a shooting light, boy, it gets dark in a hurry. The last group did it pretty darn good, but it's weird hunting this late, I'll tell you. Hey, Vominos! You think they're gonna come back and get us? Oh yeah. <laughs> they better, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. What time is it? I mean, it, what time do we have here, Tristan? 7.17. 7, 17. It's dark, I'm hungry, and I need a cold beverage. But what a little hunt. We ended up shooting six total. Uh, didn't shoot the most in the world by no means, but it's a fun little hunt. Like I said, you gotta get out here while the hunting is still around, y'all. It's closing down. Get out there. Don't waste your time. Make it happen, Captain. That was a good day, no? That was awesome. That was a good day. Good Kansas opener. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be a good one, too, though. I think so. Well, trying to be quiet, we're out scouting. And look where we're at. We're out at Preston's Big Old Marsh. And the reason is, is because the snows, they've started using it a ton. Got old Frederick out here, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna get on the road, we're gonna start walking. The reason is, I am going to find the golden nugget, the hole. The juiciest spot I can for tomorrow's next snow goose hunt. I want it to be perfect, so that's why I'm out here scouting is, man, I just want it to be perfect. We're going to have a lot of wind, a lot of weather, it's going to be raining on and off, so I'm trying to find a good spot out here for the A-frame. We're going to get out of it, we're going to throw out like five to seven dozen white snow goose floaters and as many decoys that we can get on this bank as possible. Check this out, all the snows have been here. I've been scouting them for the last three days, y'all. Three days they've been here. And uh, this morning, I guarantee you, minimum mm, 20,000 snow geese got off of here, minimum. There's a snow goose right here, check him out. There he goes. He's a young bird, he don't know any better. There's a couple gray birds just standing around over here. Oh boy. That's a good cool boy. Look at him. He's having fun. I hope you guys have been enjoying the snow goose hunting. I sure have. Snow goose hunting here in Kansas has actually turned into a lot better. A lot better than I ever expected. Plus, we're killing a lot more juvies than I ever imagined that we'd have here in Kansas. It's been dry. Field hunting's been easy, thank goodness. But this week, it looks like the forecast is saying it's gonna get wet. So I'm trying to prepare for that. And I'm just trying to make sure my plan's gonna be right because this hunt is going to be in operation, I'm telling you. That's what a lot of this is about. Every hunt, it's about preparing. It's about having the best idea to get it done in the easiest way. You know what I mean? If I can give you guys one tip is scouting is not only finding the birds and getting permission, scouting is finding the best entry to the field or pond the best place to hide how you want to set the decoys and a lot of it is all according to the weather the wind so pay attention to those forecasts do as much preparing as you can so it's easier on yourself when you go out there and you're wanting to get it done early in the a.m i'm excited though i hope you guys are getting out there i hope you guys are getting after some snow goose hunting while it's here if you've never tried it just get out there and try guys trying will make you learn a lot and if you don't try you're never going to experience it so i encourage everybody to always get out there give it your best try something new make a new friend in the hunting community reach out 
always hunt with someone new. You know what I mean? I'm always hunting with someone new. Be expecting some awesome snow goose hunts coming your way. Uh, this hunt in particular, I believe, will be my fifth or sixth hunt here in Kansas for snow geese since conservation opened. And I'm telling you, me and old Frederick, we've been getting after it, haven't we, buddy? Yeah. But if you guys want to help support the channel, you know what I always say. Go down in the description below. I will link all the ducks waterfowl gear. Whenever you guys pick something up, it goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos. They've been getting demonetized yet again, so if you guys pick something up, I appreciate it so much. I mean, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, it honestly keeps this channel going, Ducks Waterfowl does, so thank you all. Turn on that little notification bell down there because it will notify you when your boy uploads, and subscribe if you haven't. If you have any video ideas that you guys want me to do, anything under the sun, Drop a comment down below and let me know. But until next time, peace.